Hello, and welcome to At Haunted Sponge Definitely Beats Corridors. What is Corridors? Glad you asked. It is a fan remake of Silent Hills, better known as P.T., one of my favorite video games of all time. It was released only as a free demo on the PlayStation Store for PlayStation 4. Uh, essentially, you walk through the same hallway, looping endlessly, repeatedly. Every time you return to the hallway, something is different. Dead bodies, uh, terrifying radio stations that seem to be warning you of pending death. Uh, the game was canceled. They are no longer making it. My favorite game of all time, dead before it e even arrived. And yet, the fandom lives on. People are passionate. And here, we're looking at one fan's attempt to revive the game in some form. Let's see what happens. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? They, wow, they, they flat out recorded the audio from the PlayStation 4 game. It sounds right. It sounds good. Am I in control? Here we go. So it's a bit hard to explain, PT. This is indeed how it starts. This feels authentic. And frankly, it looks good. The graphics are pretty legit. Wow. Wow. In a weird way, I'm nostalgic for something that only ever came out a couple years ago. You can see these lights on the walls are just sort of floating white orbs. I guess maybe I can see the base of a light bulb there. Silent Hills PT looks damn near photorealistic. This looks pretty damn good. The clock is saying 12.05. Not accurate. To the game, at least. Whatever. I'm going to get out of uh, my own head. This is a fan remake. Not everything is going to be identical. Nobody could really match the programming genius of Silent Hills PT. There are people who theorize that we haven't even seen everything that that game has to offer. And yet, it's been pulled from the PlayStation Store. If you already have it, that's the only way you can play. You can't download a new version, which is why people are making fan remakes like Corridors, what I'm playing now. Thankfully, I am a dork. I have two PlayStation 4 hard drives that have Silent Hills on it. This is exciting. Hmm. There we go. Look at this frightening environment. It's a little like a, an escape room, like a paranormal escape room. By the way, hello, everybody. Uh, Christy Spinks, Elena Marcotte, Mike Costa. What's the difference between this and the original? Never mind, you just answered. I'm happy I could be of service, Mike. See? And we're back where we first started. So what's different this time? Walk around, plant, it's still 12.05. Paintings on the wall. Beer cans. Music's getting scarier. Let's try to go into the bathroom this time. Nothing. I'm not sure how to interact with stuff. Someone's been leaving these nanner peels all over the place. Oh my gosh. Woo! My God. <sighs> <laughs> that, that scared me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I seem to have forgotten the way that this game goes, beat for beat. I used to have this thing memorized. That scared the hell out of me. And then that door just opened. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy. Can I look inside here? I'm going to try not to spoil some of the jump scares here, but this game is intense. Mike Costa is saying that our buddy John, and he played this one night a few years ago, and you were squealing with fear like little babies. Yeah, I believe it. There was a time where anytime somebody would come over to my house, I would immediately make them 
play this game because it it's so mind blowing. Maybe I'll have to do a playthrough of the real thing at some point to show the difference between this fan remake and the real deal. <laughs> Uh, it scared me again. I typically am not a fan of scary games, but there's something about this one that I am just in love with. Sitting here in the dark by myself with headphones on, playing a horror game, is not something I would typically ever want to do. And yet... Silent Hills is obviously different. You hear that? Oh, I wonder if they have the kill in here. Ooh. I gotta tell you, I'm a little alarmed. I was, this is the best. I was about to point out that this obviously feels like a fan remake, right? That ghost wasn't moving. It was completely frozen in place. Usually in the PlayStation 4 game, when you walk toward it, it rushes toward you. In this, it merely blinked out of existence. So I thought that was a limitation of what they were able, able to pull off. I was about to comment on, and be like, that's how it's inferior. You know, even though this is amazing. When I say inferior, being inferior to, like, high art is not a bad thing. This is incredibly impressive. But then I walked forward, the ghost appeared again, and for real, for real, for real, scared the hell out of me. Telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 911 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, oh. the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this strange this? domestic homicide this is different. unrelated. Though it could be part of a larger trend, such the bodies as hanging from the ceiling. child care, and other social issues facing the average family. I love the radio broadcast. Anytime I hear one, I'm going to stop and listen to it because I love them so much. <gasps> oh, there you go. Early access. That's what happens. Created by Smoggy Chips. <laughs> music by Paul Kelly Music. Contact smoggychips.production at gmail.com for more. Uh, based on PT. All right, that's as far as they got. That was impressive. They scared me however many times. They got at least three jumps out of me in the few minutes that I've been playing this. I've only been streaming for ten minutes. I must have been playing for less than that. That was pretty impressive. That was fun. All right. Uh, I'm, I didn't realize it was going to be over. Maybe that's it. All right. See you in another video in the future. Go to talkbomb.com. Uh, check out all the other shows that I do. I host a podcast called Guide to the Unknown. It comes out every Friday. A new episode came out today where my sister and I sit down and talk about horror. Whether that means we're telling each other about monsters, urban legends, uh, creepy pastas. Uh, it's always a good time. It's available everywhere podcasts are available. Now including Spotify of all places, which is insane. You can even watch a video version with added visual guides on YouTube. Definitely, definitely go check out the YouTube video, uh, the YouTube channel for Talk Bomb. YouTube.com slash Talk Bomb. Please subscribe. They recently changed the YouTube laws. You can't monetize your videos unless you hit a certain uh, amount of 
watch hours, people watching your videos, or have 1,000 subscribers. I have 900 subscribers. I have plenty of people watching, not enough people subscribing. Please consider subscribing to Talk Bomb on YouTube. Uh, but that's it for me here playing Corridors. I am uh, surprisingly impressed. That was really fun. I would love to see more. Silent Hills needs to live on. They canceled it. Konami canceled it. Uh, I already know that there are a bunch of projects that are inspired by uh, Silent Hills coming out in the next couple of years. This was a really fun one. I'd play a full-on remake of Silent Hills. This was great. Uh, but yes, I have beaten it, <laughs> which is surprising. So I'm going to take off for now. But thank you all for watching so much. I will see you in another video. And until then, game over.